Hey guys, Randall's here from IoT Tech, and as promised, we are back with a full review of the Piper Home Security Camera. So, straight off the bat, I have to say that it's probably the best security camera that I've used so far. The video is pretty much lag free, which I can't say for many other solutions. It has fantastic night vision. The alerts when motion or anything unusual is detected is really prompt, and you can also receive notifications via text, which again, some of the solutions don't provide. The home automation side of it, uses Z-Wave, it's worked for me fantastic so far. There is two-way audio on the device. It has a wide angle lens, so it captures a lot of, a lot of um, what's going on. The siren is utterly ear piercing, and again, it's fairly unique to this device. There are a few other solutions out there which also have a siren built in, but this is by far the loudest. Another great feature about it is how it will auto arm via using the Life360 service. So if you haven't heard of Life360, um, it's basically a tracker, a bit creepy, for your uh, family. So if it can see that everyone is at the house, then it will automatically arm and keep an eye on your home, set up a siren if you want, or just record video and basically the configurability of this device is one of its pros. You can essentially do what you like with it and that's exactly what an IoT device should be. The only downside I can see with this device is that sometimes you get some artifacts on the video which you can see in a picture that I'm putting up now. So that's a little bit concerning because sometimes it can you can literally not be able to make out someone's face which you know you kind of want to see in a security camera. But that's not all the time. When it works fine, which is most of the time, then it looks perfectly great. So if we take a quick look now at the app itself, then we can go a bit deeper into some of the home automation kind of side of things that you can do with this device. So you can see here that I have set up a extra device, which is the light switch. So I can just tap that to switch it on or back off again. So that's really nice. You can do that straight from the home screen. Up here you can set all the different modes, so you can set like a vacation mode here. Oh, I haven't set up any rules for that one. You can set like a home mode, which is there, which I have set up. Here we can see our house temperature and outside temperature. If we pull that across, then we will be able to set off a panic mode here at night, which will set off a ridiculously loud alarm, which I I'm not going to do right now for the sake of both mine and your ears. So if we tap on this icon, we can go straight to the camera itself. You're not going to see too much because it's just set up in the hallway at the moment. If you press this button, you have the two-way audio. In here, you can set the, uh, like control your uh, accessories. So that was the light switch. And here you can set night vision to automatically switch or switch it on or off. Uh, this button, if you have multiple Piper set up, will show you all, different, all the different ones you have set up. We've only got the one set up here. So if we click on this button, you will be able to see some vitals about your home, which is quite nice. Again, it shows you the temperature. It will show you how busy it's been throughout the day and how much noise it's heard and that kind of thing, which is really nice and unique as far as I'm aware, to the Piper so far. So in here you can set up all your ex accessories. I've only got the one set up in here at the moment. You can set that to switch on at a set schedule, which is quite good. You can even do it at set temperatures or at set light levels, which again is really nice. If we go along to here, you can set up your rules for the different modes which you've seen on the main screen. So. I've got it set up at the moment that if motion is detected, then it will send me a push message, a text message, as well as switch the light on. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you did and like and share and all that kind of stuff. And hopefully we shall see you in the next video.